FCC 2.0 upgrade also makes the subnet platform uh, more friendly uh, towards payment use cases. This is because of the block finality, which is uh, six seconds. So we can also compare this number to uh, traditional bank systems where uh, transfer delay could take like days or even more than a week uh, if we are talking about global transfers. Welcome back to another episode of XDC Nina podcast, where we talk about blockchain, innovation, projects, technology, and of course, the XDC network. Today, I'm excited to have Juan Wiset Pira Patanapokin, a core blockchain engineer at XDC network. Juan Wiset has been deeply involved in the development and engineering behind XDC 2.0, particularly the subnets. So with his expertise, we'll dive into the technical advancements and benefits of subnet, exploring how they enhance scalability, privacy, and interoperability within the XDC ecosystem. So one we said, welcome to the podcast. So diving into the first question, please tell us what you do and if you can give us a brief what XDC 2.0 is. Thank you for having me, uh, Rebecca. Uh, my name is one we said, and I am a master's degree graduate from uh, USC in electrical engineering. Uh, currently, I am a member of uh, XTC protocol team, uh, and as a developer at XTC, we are not only doing coding tasks as a routine job. Our work involves a lot of communication with enterprise customers and doing iterative feedback. Uh, we work closely with our partners to always understand their problem and their vision. By doing so, we make sure we uh, really understand the customer needs uh, which allows XDC to work toward a common goal with our partners. Uh, so to the XDC 2.0, uh, XDC 2.0 is a security focus upgrade on the consensus layer. Uh, the number of validators uh, required to uh, advance the next block uh, is increased to uh, two thirds of active master nodes. Um, so let's say there are a total of 100 uh, master nodes. Uh, the bad actor need to take control of like almost uh, 70 nodes. Uh, and this means malicious actor um, to take control of XCC, he has to uh, hack over uh, two thirds of the decentralized uh, nodes that's deployed all over the globe. Um, or over one third to stop the XCC blockchain from generating blocks. So uh, we also have the forensic security feature. Um, that detects malicious activity uh, from validators and it also will be able to uh, penalize uh, the malicious wallet. Um, another important feature of XCC 2.0 is on the block finality. Um, so finality just means how long it takes for a block uh, to be confirmed and forever recorded onto the blockchain. In XCC 2.0, the block finality is three blocks and uh, the XCC block time is two seconds, uh, which means the finality will be six seconds. So in comparison to Ethereum, the block time is 12 seconds and the finality is more than a minute. Uh, so you can see the fast block time of XCC uh, really helps out, helps with the fast finality and it's actually very important um, to a use case of Sunnet and we'll come back to that. All right, thank you so much, uh, Juan said for sharing your introduction and it's nice to know that the developers at the XTC network, it's not all about coding, but you also communicate to the uh, to the projects or the enterprise customers that we have. So uh, going to the XTC 2.0, so it's all about improving the transaction speed and also with security. I think it's worth mentioning that with the XTC 2.0 update, uh, we make the network Byzantine fault tolerant, where in, even if one third of the nodes or the validators are facing this connection and whatnot, it means that the uh, network is still secure. Right, that, that's a very great upgrade. So yes, touching on the subnets and one reset, can you tell us what subnets are? Uh, so XCC subnet is XCC's uh, layer two and uh, private chain solution. Uh, before explaining further, I would like to share uh, why we decided uh, to build the Subnet product. So XCC is always uh, talking to the enterprise businesses and they're always, uh, we always know that they're interested 
in the um, uh, security provided by the blockchain technology, especially on like the financial sector, um, like payment solutions. However, on the STC uh, mainnet blockchain uh, being public, this becomes an obstacle for um, for payments. So the protocol team came up with the STC subnet. Uh, such that it borrows security from the FTC mainnet uh, while keeping your enterprise data and your customers' data private. Yes, but even so, you have a choice whether you want your subnet chain to be uh, public or not. So, uh, how does the subnet work? Uh, the subnet itself is its own blockchain, uh, completely separated from the mainnet. Uh, it has its, its own set of validators, uh, native token, and uh, ability to execute EVM smart contracts. Now, the subnet borrows the security of the mainnet uh, by constantly checkpointing to the mainnet. So if the subnet data was tampered, uh, the checkpointed uh, data in the mainnet uh, wouldn't match the current subnet data. Uh, essentially, what happens is that uh, your data in the private subnet is hashed into a proof data, and only the proof data is checkpointed to the XDC mainnet, so you can keep your privacy inside the subnet. To go a bit further into the techn technicality of uh, the checkpointing, mm -hmm. uh, it is done by another subnet component that we call the relayer, and it checkpoints to a special smart contract in the mainnet. Um, the FCC 2.0 upgrade also makes the subnet platform uh, more friendly uh, towards uh, payment use cases. Uh, this is because of the block finality, which is uh, six seconds. So we can also compare this number to uh, traditional bank systems where a uh, transfer delay could take like days or even more than a week if we are talking about global transfers. And even compared to other uh, blockchains, uh, our performance is much faster. Ethereum, as mentioned, takes more than a minute. And let's say we, you look to use like a centralized exchange like Binance, uh, it can take up to uh, five or 10 minutes. So thank you, Juan said for sharing what is subnets. So uh, for a technical guy, I do appreciate you for explaining subnet in a very non-technical way. So from your explanation, from what I understand, subnet is a scaling uh, privacy solution, wherein if I am a company or if I am an enterprise and do not want to share my data or my transaction uh, details into the public main chain, I can use subnets, correct? All right, so uh, I think subnets are very good with banks, to healthcare systems, or even to the government. So uh, when we said, tell us uh, the benefits and the features of subnet. Uh, sure, uh, there are many reasons why uh, you should use the FTC subnet. Uh, the obvious one as mentioned before is privacy and security. Not only that, the subnet is also highly flexible and customizable uh, to the enterprise business needs. Uh, so you're able to choose uh, how, how many nodes you want to operate, um, how, how to distribute your uh, subnet tokens, and also who has access to your subnet. Uh, and also the developer experience is awesome. Uh, as a developer myself, I understand uh, the pain of like, you know, learning and using a, a cumbersome uh, setup. Uh, so we have provided like uh, an, an extensive set of tools uh, to make your experience of setting up, uh, maintaining, and using the subnet uh, as seamless as possible. Uh, and finally, the subnet components and tools, uh, they are all open source, uh, where you are free, free to change up and deploy your own modification of the subnet. We have known many companies that try to set up um, another private chain solution, um, which costed them millions of dollars. Uh, it involves like a lot of complicated setup and maintenance costs. Uh, in, and also after all, all, all of their work, they were not even successful in the private chain implementation. However, the subnet is, is open source, so it's like practically free. Uh, so, you know, this cost reduction is uh, very huge and it's a benefit. Uh, also, if your project uh, requires a lot of transactions, um, moving those transactions onto the subnet uh, could reduce your gas costs. Uh, another tool that I would like to highlight is the XCC Zero, uh, which can uh, enable the cross-chain communication, uh, for example, token transfers between the subnet and mainnet. All right. Thank you for outlining those features and benefits. And I love the part wherein you, you 
made an example that there are companies who made this, who tried to deploy their own chain, but they were not uh, successful. So why go all the length of this process? And even with this cost, only to find out at the end that you're not successful. So I think subnets are the best solution for them. So yes, uh, with this subnet, can you tell us the use cases that you've done so far? Uh, yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, we have uh, many partners who are seriously considering uh, using XTC subnet in production. So now uh, let me share a couple of examples. So um, one of them is like is uh, Dutch Telecom uh, from Germany. Uh, they are using sub the subnet in their telecommunication uh, use case. Um, we have this uh, carbon tracking project uh, where they use uh, the subnet to record a private and individual uh, carbon credit data, and and then they will combine the numbers uh, to only show the aggregate data on the XCC mainnet. Then we also have this uh, Sansibar National Blockchain Network. Uh, Sansibar is a region of Tanzania and they have a blockchain policy where uh, all national ID cards and other certificate must be on the blockchain. Um, they are choosing to build the, the entire blockchain infrastructure on the XCC subnet. And in the final vision of this project, it will not only be a single subnet, but a network of multiple subnets uh, working uh, interoperably. Uh, and also, we have talked about how uh, XTC subnet is uh, suitable for a payment solution. So that's also yeah. right. Thank you for sharing all those use cases. Uh, it's very great to hear that um, Deutsche Telekom is also exploring the subnet. Um, it's a huge telecommunication base in Germany, and also with the Zanzibar uh, sandbox. So again, uh, these are entities that are well known, right? So yeah, uh, you've been telling us about the benefits and the features and subnets, but how easy it is to deploy subnets in XTC? If I dare say, uh, you can have a subnet up and running uh, within 10 minutes uh, in your local machine or server. Uh, the reason for that uh, is because we have created uh, this de deployment automation tool uh, we call the subnet configuration generator, where you have this uh, uh, UI page uh, and it looks very familiar to like uh, uh, any website's uh, registration form. Uh, there's only a few options uh, to input and after you're done, all the configuration files uh, and the instruction steps are generated. Then you can follow uh, the instructions that is generated. It's only two or three commands. Um, yeah, after that is done, your subnet uh, will be uh, you know running and deployed. Um, so I also say that um, the subnet deployment is a Docker base. Uh, so I believe engineers and developers they are all familiar with Docker. Um, and on the other tools that we provide is uh, the subnet UI. Uh, it clearly shows uh, and allows you to monitor the subnet uh, block progress and uh, checkpointing progress. Uh, it also works as um, as like a mini explorer where you can see blocks and TX details. Um, and another tool we also provide is a faucet server to help with your uh, subnet token distribution. Lastly, I would like to I I would say the most interesting tool is uh, XDC zero. So XDC zero is a cross chain smart contract framework. Uh, it allows you to uh, to make cross-chain data transfers uh, where you can utilize uh, the framework by building a smart contract application on top of the framework. Uh, one application we have also provided uh, by default is called uh, SubSwap, uh, which is the application for cross-chain data transfer. So uh, it it is possible for you to have uh, this like shared uh, token pool between uh, mainnet and subnet, uh, for example, uh, with subswap. Yeah, and XTC0 uh, works uh, by utilizing the checkpointing proof data of the subnet uh, that is stored on the mainnet um, to make sure that you know there is no uh, malicious action. Um, but you don't have to deploy XTC0 if you don't like it. So it is optional to deploy. And but if you decide to deploy uh, XTC0. Um, you can also choose whether you only want the subnet to mainnet transfers or uh, both way transfers uh, also on the mainnet back to the subnet.
Thank you for touching the point of XDC zero and also the sub swap. When you told me earlier that uh, the deployment is less than 10 minutes, I almost do not believe you, but thank you for the video demonstration that you've played. And the process is really simple and it's streamlined, right? So even I think uh, even if you're not a technical person, a non-tech person can easily deploy this subnet. So yeah, one was said thank you for that. And in case in case someone will be facing some issues when it comes to deploying their own subnet, where can I find technical support? Uh, right. So I would like to share uh, one link with you. Uh, this link is the subnet release article, uh, which will contain a reference uh, to all other links and resources that you need. Um, so we have links to tutorial, documentations, uh, uh, YouTube uh, tutorial, uh, Telegram support group, and also the relevant uh, GitHub repositories. Um, yeah, so if uh, you're facing some trouble or you would like to have some suggestions, uh, we are welcome uh, to talk on the Subnet Telegram support group or, or also and also the XCC uh, public forum. Um, yeah, I hope everyone have a good time uh, using the Subnet and uh, looking forward to hear uh, your feedback. All right, Juan said, thank you so much for joining the podcast and explaining the XDC 2.0 update and also these uh, Subnets. I hope the community learned a thing or two about subnets and XDC 2.0. I think you can easily explain subnet to your to a kid or even to your grandparents. So yes, all related links that one with that has mentioned, the Telegram group, the, the GitHub repost, it will be placed under the description of the video. So please check out that link. And yes, for the community, thank you so much again for joining us today. And if you want to know more about XDC Network, please visit www.zinfin.org or if you are a developer or blockchain enthusiast or anyone who simply wants to know more about blockchain, just participate to our forum, register, call www.xdc.dev. So keep learning, keep exploring until the next episode. Thank you.